Thank you. Thank you. I like that. You held strong. You didn't clap at all. I appreciate that. You're like, you know what? Everyone's doing it. I'm not going to do it. What if I don't? What, are they going to make me? No. I like that. Is everyone going to jump off a bridge? Not this girl. I'll tell you what. She's going to stand strong. It is so good to be here. One more time for all the opening comics you've seen tonight. Brett, Greg, and Ken. Hell yeah. This is so good. Uh, this is my first time here, and I, li I like it. This club's been around for a while, and you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel it. Like, I haven't seen this <laughs> since I went to someone's bathroom in 1992. <laughs> like, this is a... Like, I got a nice house, too. This is a nice... If you had this in your bathroom in 19... You were doing well. Or you just got divorced from someone doing really well. <laughs> this is nice. The lighting. Oh, this is like when they tried to kill Scarface in the movie Scarface. Remember that? They were doing that? I love it. I like it. I like how everything leads down. I like it. There's so many levels. Oh, there's just levels and levels of people. And everyone's above me. And I don't care for that. I'll be honest. Makes me feel down, just a touch. But it's so good, everyone's here in the front, except for that table, just to let me know. I like that, you're not allowed, you're a tier two. I'm so sorry, can't bump you down, that's tier two, there's tiered seating. <laughs> How are we doing in the mezzanine? Doing all right in the mezzanine? All right. Lower luge or something? I, don't know. I never knew how that one was pronounced either. <laughs> Ah, man. It's so good to be here. It's my first time. Uh, I've been to Ann Arbor before, but never to do comedy. I just came as a... Uh, I came to have lunch once. Uh, this is uh, 2018, maybe? It was before the pandemic. Remember before? Yes. <laughs> Remember that? Doesn't that feel like 100 years ago? Like, 2021 feels like yesterday. 2018 feels like what? <laughs> That's before I graduated high school. What are you talking about? I came here in like 2018, I was working in Royal Oak, Michigan, and I had a friend who lived here, he's like, come up, let's have some lunch. And I was like, that's cool, we had lunch, and then he's like, you wanna go see that? I, want, I wanted to see the stadium, the big house. It's like 100,000, I've never been to a 100,000 seat uh, stadium, and I wanted to see it, so we went. And I didn't think we could go inside, but there was actually an event going on, it was Pee Wee football. <laughs> and I'm like, I kind of want to go in there. And my buddy's like, yeah. And, I, and we bought tickets. They charged tickets for Pee Wee football. And they sold it to us. And they were like, I don't think they have any kids in there. <laughs> I don't know if you ever showed up to a youth event without any children in the game, but you get a lot of side eyes from the other. I just wanted to see the stadium, you know? I didn't care. <laughs> And I went in, and let me tell you, those little kids did not sell a lot of tickets, all right? Like, pretty empty. I mean, they could have done it at a smaller venue, just <laughs> giving me a tour, you know? No, no it's 100,000 seats. There are seven. Who wants to watch that? I'd be upset if it was sold out. 100,000 people to watch seven-year-olds run a sweep? No, thank you. <laughs> That's a football play. I like it. I like the energy in this room. It's like there, but it's still summer. And I like it. You guys have the energy of people that were at the lake all day. That's the energy in this room. You're like, well, we got a little sun. Let's go catch a show. We'll go catch a show at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase. We'll lean our heads up against some neon lighting and... <laughs> Listen to some humor. <laughs> Got that guy with that. That was a good laugh. That was a good ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah. We're opening up. Last night I was in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, there it is again. That's a good laugh. Got Count Dracula in the corner. We're doing all right. <laughs> yes. I feel like I'm busting them open with each one of these. <laughs> if the world's most interesting man had a laugh, it would be that ha 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 ha. It's almost like the laugh Ray Liotta had in those terrible te like uh, tequila commercials. Do you remember that? Remember like a few years ago, Ray Liotta sold tequila on TV, 
and he didn't have any lines. It was just him walking in and he'd stare at the bartender like a, like a maniac. Do you remember this? If you don't, I'll just play it out for you. <laughs> Ray Liotta would walk into a bar being Ray Liotta and he would just make eye contact with the bartender and go. <laughs> and then he would eventually like, he'd be like, this drink? And he's like, mm. And then he'd pull the tequila that the ad was for and be like, this one? And he'd go, mm. And then he'd hold it and he'd go, ah! I am assuming that's what that laugh sounded like if they allowed to put that into the commercial. It's a good laugh. It's a tequila laugh, you know? Right? It's contagious, isn't it? <laughs> You're coming around. I like it. I can feel it. You regret not clapping now. I can feel it. You're like, you know what? I should have clapped when you came up, because... But I get it, it's weird to clap first. That's like tipping before you get the food, right? Which that's pretty common now. I got Starbucks twice today and in the drive-thru they make you tip and I'm like, how do I even know though? How do I know it's gonna be good? How do I know you didn't put too much water in the oatmeal? And you just have to give them the money anyway, you know? They should do a thing. They should, you know? I like tipping at a sit-down restaurant because you get to eat the food first. And you're like, that was amazing. Your service was great, 20%. But in the beginning, you're like, I don't know if you know how <laughs> to make a brown shaken oat ice latte. <laughs> Sorry, That's, that is how you know. That is how you know. I'm, I'm aging, I'm 36, not old, but it happens slowly, you know? <laughs> It's an ideology that changes. Like, I'll watch those Karen videos on TikTok, and sometimes I see their point. <laughs> sometimes, right? Not all the times, but sometimes you're like, yeah, where is the manager? I need a receipt, all right? This is a business lunch. I gotta tell the IRS about this. I need an itemized receipt. And that's how you know it creeps up. You're like, Ugh. I'm on the wrong end. <laughs> yeah, I had a wonderful time last night. I did a show in Columbus and I drove here from there. And uh, it was a good drive. Nice, you know. I don't like, I, don't, I live in New York now, so I don't drive anymore. So it's nice to drive. I get to catch up on podcasts and uh, I remember, you know. <laughs> you ever do that? You ever have a long drive and you just drift off in your thoughts and you're like, oh yeah, I did that. I owe that person an apology. Oh yeah. That's when you remember, right? You got that long drive, there's nothing but straight for two hours. You're like, oh, I said that? That's what I do. That's why they have cruise control, because they know you're gonna drift off into your thoughts. You ever see a driver out there that just dips down to 50, then goes to 80, yes. then goes to 50? They're deep in thoughts. That's what's going on. And they're like, good lord, I did say that. And then they dip down and feel like, oh no! <laughs> so I'm on the cruise control. And that's why I don't get mad at other drivers. Because I, I went, it was a uh, PT Cruiser. which It was just me and this PT Cruiser. There were other cars, but it was me and them for the entire drive here. And they would go slow, they would go fast. I had, I had cruise control set to 75, so I was doing the same. And, we, and I'm like, man, you are really going through something right now. <laughs> it was like peeking into someone's therapy session, you know? You're like, you're gonna get there, you're gonna get there. Maybe journaling, I don't know, but it's good you're doing this on the 75 North. This is good. <laughs> it's a good mix, man. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Came in yesterday to, I flew, I'm horrible at travel. I flew into Cleveland to do a show in Columbus, and then I drove here, and then tomorrow I have a show in, or not tomorrow, Sunday I have a show in Sandusky, Ohio, oh. and uh, I learned that none of these are near, kind of. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. It's not what I do. I, I am only decent at this, what I'm doing right now. Travel and all that stuff, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Last week I went to the wrong hotel. I went to the wrong Marriott. I'm a Marriott Titanium Elite member. Uh, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Look at everyone else. Sad, right? Like, hmm, he's better than us. I am, all right? Only because I have the Titanium Elite membership. 
But I went to the wrong hotel. I was in Illinois. I was supposed to go to St. Charles, Illinois. And uh, I just, I landed. I didn't have any sleep in Chicago. And I just put in Marriott. And the first one that came up, I was like, yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> and I showed up. You ever not sleep and then try to drive immediately? And then so I showed up at the hotel and, and they were like, we don't have any record of you coming here. Uh, and I was like, I'm a Titanium Elite member. And they're like, that's, thank you. Uh, you know, that's where the little Karen was coming up in me. And I'm like, do you not know my status? You know? And they were so nice behind the counter, they looked me up in the entire Marriott system. And they're like, you're staying at a hotel in St. Charles. And I'm like, well, where am I right now? <laughs> they're like, you're in Schaumburg. And I'm, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love it, though. I love statuses. That's what I'm all about, because I grew up in the trailer park. So my entire life goal as an adult is just to be treated better than everybody else. <laughs> That's what it is. I've had to be on the bottoms d during my developmental stages, and that's how villains are created. That's the backstory to a supervillain. You're like, he was poor, and everyone knew it. And now his only goal <laughs> is victory. <laughs> you know? I, got a, uh, I, <laughs> I got incorporated this year, so I'm a business now. Zoltan Comedy Incorporation. And I, I only did it, yeah, don't clap yet. I only did it so I could get a purple credit card that lets me into the lounge at the airport. It's the only reason I did it. And it's because I was tired of going to the airport. I'm at the airport every week and they're all lining up to this gated community. And it, I wasn't allowed in. It reminded me of my childhood in the trailer park and I would just look up on the hill to houses with foundations and I'm like, why do they get to live there? And then I'm like, how do I get into that damn gated breakfast? And uh, I found out you have to have this credit card, but you can only get this credit card if you're a business. So I incorporated, I hired a bookkeeper. I filled out paperwork. I got an EIN number. And they're like, why did you do it? Did you do it for the tax breaks? No, I did it for sweaty eggs at LaGuardia Airport. That's why I did it. It's not even that great in there, but I just want it in, you know? <laughs> ah, I don't know what it says about me, but... A few more years at the lounge, I'm gonna have that laugh. So I'm gonna be there with that cappuccino. Ah, 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 ah. I'll laugh at everyone in line at Duncan. <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Yesterday was a weird day. You ever have one of those days where nothing, it's nothing goes horribly wrong, but also it's just like a million little things go wrong, and you're like, what is it? What is it today? Is it me? Is it the world? What's going on? I had an early flight, like I always do. You think I'd be prepared. It's an every week situation, but it's, I'm never, you know? Like I had a flight uh, Thursday morning, at, at, I had to wake up at 3.30 in the morning. And really I could have woken up later, but I wanted ample lounge time. So I, <laughs> I wanted to get to the airport early. I could have woken up later, but I'm like, oh, those sweaty eggs are mine. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm still new to it. Maybe I'll get used to it now, whatever. But. I woke up at 3.30 in the morning, and the night before, I'm like, I'm gonna go to sleep early, and my wife's like, are you sure you don't wanna watch some TV with me? And she gave me TV eyes, and I'm like, I wanna watch TV. And then we stayed up till like midnight or something after. I probably went to sleep at like one. You ever do that? You go to sleep late, and then wake up super early, and then you wake up, and you're like, did I even fall asleep? Right. It was one of those where you're like, did I? I felt like a long blink, is what that felt like. <laughs> Like, that wasn't a dream, that was a thought. That's all I had. I had a thought, and then the alarm went off. And so I went to the airport, and then I landed in Cleveland, hopped in a rental car, and just drove, which is so dangerous. Just no sleep, new city, car I'm not familiar with, and just do an 80 on the interstate, just figuring it out, you know? And hopefully not falling asleep, because if I do, I know me. I'm taking someone with me. I'm just gonna, uh, brrr, minivan! There we go, we're going into a ditch. 
You were too excited about that. I do want to say, yes, take them all out. All the minivans. <laughs> that was a vendetta laugh is what that was. <laughs> What's that? You drive horribly? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm not allowed to add on to that. But yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm allowed to chuckle if you say it, but I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't chime in with my opinion. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> I was driving pretty bad yesterday because I was tired and I wanted to get. A, I'm like, I need a coffee, so I wanted to get a Starbucks. And they're like, There's a Starbucks. You know those little signs. They're like, oh, what, did they clean the freeway? And they're like, no, no, no. They didn't adopt a highway. There's a Starbucks at the next exit. <laughs> and so I got off at the Starbucks, and I was so tired that I, like, waddled into the... Have you ever been that tired where you're like, I think people might think I'm drunk. <laughs> so you just kind of walk in, and I'm just kind of swaying in line. And I'm so tired, I'm practicing my order in my head before I get to the person. Because I know I can't, this can't happen in the moment. I got to rehearse these lines. So I'm just in my head, just kind of going, bacon, egg, gouda sandwich, cold cream, cold brew. That's all I'm doing. It's sweet cream, cold brew. That's what it is. So I was just in there going, bacon, egg, gouda sandwich, sweet, in my head. But I know me. I have an expressive face, so I'm sure on the outside, people are just looking over and I'm like, <laughs> And I was ready. There was like three people ahead of me. I had my credit card out. I wasn't going to mess with the zipper on my back pocket. I had the credit card in my hand. Purple, you know, it's ready to go. <laughs> and then I get to the front. I'm not making this up. The lady sees me holding the credit card. She goes, <laughs> She goes, our system is down. You can only pay through the Starbucks app or cash. And I was like, <laughs> bacon, egg, gouda sandwich, sweet cream, cold brew. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have, I wasn't ready for that. My brain is too tired. I don't have it. And she goes, well, you can't pay with that. I can, have you ever been in that situation? It was such a weird sit I was like in, stuck in no man's land. It was like I was a time traveler, but to my own era. You know what I mean? Like I had the right thing, but they were only accepting things from the future and the past, but not now, you know? It's like you can either pay from the future or like you're buying heroin in an alley. That's how you can pay for this. And I'm just... And she repeated it. And she's like, you can only pay through the app or cash. And I'm like, I don't have either. And she goes, I'm so sorry. And I just went, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was yesterday. Man, that joke came together good. I like that. <laughs> that was my third time telling it. Twice yesterday, once today. Yeah, it could be something, right? Yeah. It's easy to write jokes when none of it's made up. <laughs> you just go, this happened yesterday. And I'm very self-aware. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it, shared it, subscribed to it, hit the notification bell, do all the things YouTube makes you want to do. Uh, other than that, I wanted to let you know that I'm constantly on tour. So go to my website, ZoltanComedy.com, and see if I'm coming to a town near you. Thank you kindly.